What's up, guys? Dustin New here. Back to the Columbus Blue Jackets jam mode. Um, last time we absolutely uh, went on a tear, so we had a pretty suspect uh, December. December was not good. It was pretty up and downy, up and downy. Towards the end, we kind of got a little bit better, um, but going into January, uh, I decided that we would completely change the lines. I redid everything. Uh, manually and we absolutely just destroyed January we got uh, one shootout or sorry one shootout win we got one shootout win no we got we only had two losses in the entire month so now we're sitting second in the division uh, I think we're just gonna keep going I kind of just want to go right into the deadline at that point I think we make a decision in terms of who we want to trade the only thing I was looking at was maybe getting rid of Anton Forsberg but now I'm kind of debating Ooh, that's not a good start. Um, if if our team is doing this well as a team right now, do we get rid of Forsberg, right? Um, that's kind of the debate I'm having with myself. Like, if if we're having a really good really good year and he's doing pretty good, do we keep going with him? Do we get rid of him? Try and get something? Uh, and call up our other backup guy? Or, you know, like, I, I just feel like as a team, we're doing really solid. And I would hate to break that up. And if he's playing great as a backup goalie, like, he had better stats than Bobrovsky, like, why would I get rid of him, right? Especially down the stretch. So, I, I kind of just want to see where he sits uh, kind of just after, after this. So, we're going to see how he does down the stretch here into the, into the trade deadline. Um, it looks like we've kind of got some more losses, but... Scott Hartnell. Consider some changes, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. All right, Prout. All right, cool. Nice. Nice chat, bro. Nice chat. I don't even think he's playing. All right, there we go. Like, we've been on a pretty good tear lately. We've been winning quite a few games, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of, I'm just, that's at the point where I'm just like, do we keep going with these guys? Do we make a trade and get rid of Forsberg, bring up our other gold? He, because I mean, Forsberg's in his last year of his contract, you know, but at the same time, what if Bobrovsky goes down in the playoffs? We need a good, you know, solid guy to go in. Right. So I'm down the scouting trip. So like, that's kind of what I'm worried about mostly is like, what if, you know, what if Bobrovsky goes down? You know, <laughs> are we going to be screwed at that point? Uh, okay. So, currently, into the trade deadline, we're second place. We're, like, literally right behind Carolina, which is good. Let's see how we're doing here. 77 points there at 80 points. We got a game in hand, too, which is good. Uh, in the east, we're still sitting fourth. Uh, entire league-wise, I mean, we're eighth, but that's not bad. Uh, goals for has gone up a little bit, a little bit, not, 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 I mean, we were last, now we're, now we're here, uh, goals against, I mean, again, yeah, like, look at our goals against, we're beating the next team by, like, a whole 10 goals, basically, like, do I break that up? <laughs> Power plays, still kind of gotten up a little bit better, uh, PK wise, I don't know where we are right now, Columbus, Columbus, we've definitely gotten better, we were, pretty bad before 82 that's not bad we were like 79 so that's gotten better too since i've changed the lines so that's good uh now let's look at stats see how we're sitting so uh we got 62 games 47 points for felino he's having a pretty good year actually bjorkstrand 80 uh 38 points murray 37 uh, milano's got 36 matthews with 36 i don't know what's going on with matthews he's just not having a very stellar year at all he was getting better, 47, 57. Now he's dropped. I don't know what's going on. Um, I mean, JVR, so-so, you know, he's okay, I guess. He had 74 points last year, 75 the year before. Now he's eh, so-so. He's pretty much a point every two games, which isn't good. Um, but yeah, most, most of all, we need to look at goalies here because I want to see what's going on. Because Forsberg has been having a... Oh my god, he's having a disgusting year right now. 8-2, 1.170 goals against. 9.57 save percentage. 
four shutouts. Like four shutouts? You only played twelve games? You know, I <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Like he's having a really good year. And as a starter, Bobrovsky's having a pretty good year too. You know, save percentage is almost nine three, which is crazy. Goals against two point one. I mean six shoutouts for him, but I can't believe Forsberg. Forsberg's having it this like so sick. He's having such a great year. Um Oh, it's such a tough choice though. Okay, how's our uh, AHL team doing? Because I know Ka Kakinen wasn't doing that great. He's picked it up a little bit. Like, is it good enough to be... But, you know, I want Mackenzie Blackwood to get more more starts at this point, right? Because that's what his role is. And he's a backup. <sighs> oh, he's up to an 84. You know what? I'm kind of curious what we could get. I want to know what we could get in terms of Forsberg. Um, he is a 28. He was a 2011 seventh round pick, so I I have a feeling I could probably get a first for that, which is crazy because he's having like he's just doing super sick. Uh, Jets probably don't need a goalie, but they're down the down the wire. San Jose and Arizona, I'm pretty sure both need goalies for sure. Uh, let's see here. Proposed trade. Let's see what they got. All right, so Winnipeg. What do they have for goaltending right now? They should have a goalie. Like they have a couple goalies at least. What do we got? Hellebuck, Comrie, Hutchinson's down. Yeah, like they're doing okay for goaltender. Um, out of anybody, I'm pretty sure Arizona needs one. Oh, they got yourself Halak. Okay. So they must have traded for a lot because they didn't have him before. And what was the other one? San Jose? I think San Jose. Where's San Jose? San Jose? San Jose. What do they got? They got Martin Jones. So they could use a goalie. In terms of draft picks, what do we got here? They got two firsts. Ooh, Minnesota Wild first. Hmm. Next year's first, we could probably get for sure, hundred percent for sure. Goalie, Forsberg, hundred percent we get that easily. Now I wonder if we can get another first, like that other first that's there. Probably. Uh, could is there anything else I could trade them? Mm, I don't really need that other first. Like that'll be enough for next year, but I just feel like I could uh, it's pretty even. Just I'm trying to like squint my eyes and get a good look. Like could I get a second maybe? Let's see if we can get a second too. First and then second. That's LA's second. Okay. Well let's see if we can get it. Trade rejected, okay. We could definitely get a first. Could we get a third? Oh, they don't have a third. Hmm. We have fourth, fourth rounder. First and a fourth. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I hope this move doesn't screw us. I really hope it doesn't. I'm confident in our up and coming guys, but uh, you know, he like he's an 84. I think he's gonna do good. All right, edit lines. Let's see here. I'm confident in him. He's coming up to be our backup substitute. Why oh, is he in 83 now? Okay. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Uh, Blackwood, and then we get Lala in there. There we go. Get him some playing time. All right. Let's hope for the best. There we go. I think that's literally all we needed to do at the trade deadline. So, uh, at this point, I think we can just go to the end of the season. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, we'll just go to the end here. We should be able to get through it. All right. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Ooh, loss. All right, big dub. Big dub. All right. Let's go overtime win. That's good. We got 40 wins, so that's solid. 
we could hit 50 wins, I'd be extremely pumped. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, we did there, we did there, we did there. Any other place that has a bunch of forwards? Let's go to the Liga for two weeks. All right, big dub. Come on, big dub. There we go. There we go. Big dub. Holy crap. Keep going, boys. If we can hit 50 wins, for sure, that'd be unbelievable. Come on, come on. We had a terrible start to the year, too, so this would be sick. Okay, that's all right. Lost. LA Kings, big dub. Three wins away. Can we hit 50? Oh, unreal. <laughs> this is actually pretty sweet. Uh, who's got some defensemen? Seven D men there. There we go. All right. Come on. Win. 49 wins. Come on, boys. Oh, 50. We did it. There we go. 50 wins. Nice. Uh, let's go to Russia, I guess. Defenseman for a week. Nice. 50 wins. 51. 52. Oh, my God. On a pretty good streak going into the playoffs. Oh, Pittsburgh. All right. One last game. Wow, we jumped to the top. Oh, we got a team meeting here. Let's see. Should be proud of this. Or not. Don't be proud. <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Feels happy. Ooh, Travis Percy's gotten a lot better. Oh, okay. Yeah, Percy was a 76, now he's 78. That's solid. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Last game of the year. Ah, screw it. Let's just sim ahead. It doesn't matter. All right, big loss, big loss. So Kapanen's like pretty happy right now. That's good, that's good. Is there any other goalies anywhere? Let's go to Russia, I guess, goalies. Let's do some goalie scouting. Goalie scouting. All right, so we're taking on Toronto in the first round. That's what it looks like. Uh, we clinched the conference, holy crap. We, I mean, we did go on a tear down the stretch there. Oh, we tied with Carolina. <laughs> we had more wins, though. So, Eastern, we clinched, the, clinched it. Clinched the Eastern. Oof. That's sick. That's a that's an accomplishment for sure. Uh, um, oh, we won the league, too. Won the President's Trophy. Damn. Look at us. Look at us go. Goals four. I mean, we got better, but still weren't, you know, top-notch. I think our goals against went down, though. Oh, no, it didn't. We're still number... Wow. Best goals against still. That's sick. Power play definitely went up. We are at 50. <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice. All right. PK. Mm. PK-wise. How did we... Wow, we got up to 84.3. That's good. Definitely a turnaround for us. Let's just sip here. Hmm. Sip of coffee. All right. Felino had 57 points. Bjorkshire with 55. Matthews with 53. That's good. That's good. I mean, that's not great, but uh, Van Riemsdyk, 43 points in 59 games. He he turned out okay. That's good. Uh, how did our goalies do here? Goalie-wise. All right. So Kakinen didn't have... Wow. Goals against 8.86? What? 9-6, nine, 9 save percentage. 5 wins, 2 losses. 3 shutouts? Oh my god, he played 7 games. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Barofsky's goals against went down. Save percentage went up. 10 shutouts. Wow. Oh my god. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Where's the league? There we go. League. 
Oh my gosh. I don't think we got the most wins, but maybe he did. No, he did. Borowski's right there. Stats wise, though, 2.05 in the top goalies. That's the best. Uh, goals against, 0.98. That's the best. 10 shutouts. That looks like it's probably the best. Yeah, so Schneider, or, uh, Borowski should win the, the Vesna. I mean, be surprising if he didn't. Just my opinion. Go all skaters. Let's see who uh, got most goals and stuff. Uh, most goals. Ovechkin had 60 goals. Holy crap. Stamkos had 107 points. Ooh, Duran. Yeah, like we didn't have anybody up here, but our whole team did pretty solid, so. Um, I always like to see plus minus too. Plus minus. Drew Doughty. Nice. Actually, he probably got best defenseman, I would assume, then. Maybe. 57 points. Oh, no. Eric Carlson, 75. Holy crap. The game's pretty realistic in the simulation, though. Uh, rookie skaters. I want to see who, who had that. Go back. Uh, Tyler Benson! Oh, baby. Big Bad Benson should win the Calder. Unless one of the goalies stole it like they did to our guy. That was BS, man. I think it was Bjork. Was Bjorkstrand? Yeah, Bjorkstrand should have won it. And freaking one of the goalies, like, stole it from him. It's like, really? Some bullshit. Um, <laughs> Netilovic. Oh, wow. He, he actually had a pretty good year. Hard to say. Hard to say. Oh, that was his rookie season too, eh? Hmm. Okay. All right. So team didn't do too bad. First in the league. Pretty excited. Let's do our uh, quick team meeting here. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do that before we start the first round. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we've really, after the the terrible start we had, we really turned the year around. Everything seems to be going great. We're in the playoffs against the Maple Leafs. Yeah. We should be able to do pretty well, hopefully. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.